hello wordpress nerds so in this video we are going to talk about perform an htm http request using get method so where to use this http request so for example you want to send a request from one site to another site in that case we need to use http request so for example i have created two sites site one which is this um, localhost slash wordpress and another one is site two which is localhost slash wp2 so let's say i want to sorry i want to display data from site two to site one so i will send a request from site one to site two using http request so in order to understand this you will need to have knowledge of uh, rest apis and uh, creating custom widgets so if you don't know how to do that i have already created those videos for that so i would suggest you to go and check out those videos first and then come back again on this video so this is the video to create widgets and uh, this is a playlist of understanding the rest api i will provide this links into the description section now let me show you what i have done so far so i have already created a custom plugin on this site one and created a custom widget and placed it over here in the footer section let me show you so this is the custom widget custom post list here is the custom widget i have created in my custom plugin here is the file and currently i'm simply displaying the title called custom widget now we are going to display post from site 2 in this widget so for that let me get rid of sidebar so for that we have to use this function called wp remote get so let's try to use this and this function accepts two arguments one is the url to which site you want to get a response from and another one is http arguments uh, which are which is an optional so in this video we are not going to talk about this we will just pass a url so which url we need to pass it so in this case we will we want to get post from this site so we will use rest api to get post so first let me show you quickly how rest api works so i'm going to open postman I will copy this url okay i have already written that api so if you don't know so this is the site url then wp json wp version 2 post this is an api to get posts so if i send this 
we will see this uh, post from this website for example let's say this is post 7 then post 6 and everything everything will be there in inside this api so here we will use this so from from this site we are sending request to this site so this url we need to pass it so let's pass it and let's try to print out this refresh this and as you can see we are getting some response and uh, yeah this is the api we are API response similar to this over here inside the body so let's try to just fetch the body and this is an error format so we can fetch the body like this and let's let's just echo it so this is the data we are getting into the json format but uh, before doing that let let me show you the right way to get the body so once you get send request we have to check if the request is successful so in order to check that we have to use this function is wp json error oh, sorry is wp error and inside this we can get body using this function wp remote retrieve body so this function is used to get body out of this response now if we echo this we will get the similar response and now as this is a json format so let's try to decode this json let's call it data and use json decode so this will convert json into an array so now let's print out this and as you can see now we get the data into the error format so now we can loop through this data let's make an ulli and 
and uh, let's simply print the title and it's an object and we will get title inside this inside title rendered and now um, let's get rid of this printer and refresh it so now as you can see uh, we are getting post list from this site let me try to add one more post so that it is confirmed that it is coming from this site let's refresh it here and yes we are getting the post from another site So this is how you can use WP Remote Get in order to send HTTP, HTTP GET request to another site. If you have any doubt or question, please write down below in the comment section. Thanks for watching the video guys.